Welcome to ETD's Understanding Your Options Before Clicking Submit. This is video number 7, ProQuest Submission Process. In this video, we provide an overview of how to submit your thesis or dissertation to the ProQuest ETD Administrator Portal. All students should follow the guidelines set forth by the Graduate School to submit their thesis or dissertation. On the Graduate School's website, there are detailed submission instructions and checklists tailored to both master's and doctoral students. Following the directions on either the dissertation or thesis submission page, each student should have their proposal approved by their advisor or committee, their dissertation or thesis written and defended, and their cover sheet and release form turned in. Once these steps have been completed, students can proceed to the final submission step. To submit your thesis or dissertation, navigate to the ProQuest ETD Administrator Portal from the Graduate School's website. Click on the red Sign Up and Get Started Today button to create an account. If you already have an account, click on Log In. If you are creating an account for the first time, on the next screen you will need to fill in your personal information to set up your account. It is important to enter an email address that you check regularly and will continue to check after graduation, since this is the primary means for how ProQuest will contact you about your thesis or dissertation. Once you have completed the form, click Create. ProQuest will then send you an email at the email address you entered to verify your new account. After confirming the email address and verifying your account, you will be logged into the ProQuest Submission Portal. The submission homepage displays several recommendations for making the process of submitting your thesis or dissertation go as smoothly as possible. It is strongly recommended that each student prepare the information they will enter about their work before beginning the submission process. To do so, copy or type out your name, the name of your advisor, the title of your work, your full abstract, and a few subject keywords that describe your work, exactly as you wish them to appear, into a word processing or text editing program, such as Microsoft Word or Notepad. You should also save the final, approved version of your thesis or dissertation as a single PDF file, including any appendices. Although ProQuest can convert your document into a PDF during the submission process, this is not recommended since it often results in poor formatting and a loss of special characters. If your work includes supplemental files such as images, data, or a computer program, it is helpful to have those saved in a handy location as well. Once you have prepared these materials, you are ready to move forward with submitting your work to ProQuest. Press Continue to move to the next step. The first step in the submission process is choosing which publishing and access options you want applied to your thesis or dissertation. Before choosing either traditional publishing or open access publishing, we recommend that you watch part three in this video series, Traditional and Open Access Publishing Options, which covers these options in detail. You will also choose whether you want Google and other search engines to discover your work, which will make it more visible online, or if you want to restrict search engines from indexing your work. Finally, you have the option of making your work available in ProQuest immediately or placing an embargo on it so that it cannot be accessed for a period of time. We recommend that you watch part four in this video series, Embargoes, for more information on the types of embargoes that are available to you before making your choice. One important thing to note is that any embargo option you choose here will only apply to the copy of your thesis or dissertation in ProQuest. You will also need to request an embargo on the copy of your thesis or dissertation that will be uploaded to Digital Georgetown, the university's institutional repository. To do so, send your request to administrators at the graduate school by emailing gradstudentservices at georgetown.edu. Once you have finished making your selections about publishing options, Click Save and Continue to move on to the next step. On the next page, ProQuest will provide an agreement based on the type of publishing option you chose in the previous step. You will need to accept the agreement with ProQuest to move on to the next page. The next screen contains a form that you will need to complete with contact information. 
It is important to enter all information accurately, as this is the information that ProQuest will use to contact you with issues related to your thesis or dissertation. It is equally important that you enter an email address and mailing address that is not temporary and that will not change after you graduate. On this form, you have the option to either enter or create an ORCID ID. An ORCID ID is a persistent digital identifier that distinguishes you from every other researcher and helps ensure that your work is recognized. We strongly recommend that you create an ORCID ID for yourself unless you already have one. If you are unsure whether you already have an ORCID ID, you can click Look Up to see if an ID has been registered in your name. If you do not have an ID and would like to create one, click Create and you will be taken to the ORCID website so you can generate an ID for yourself. Once you complete this contact information form, click Save and Continue. In the next step, you will enter information about your thesis or dissertation. This is where it is very helpful to have the required information ready at hand, so you can simply copy and paste the information into the form. This not only expedites the process, but minimizes the chance that typos will appear in the metadata or information about your thesis or dissertation. On this page, enter the required and optional information about your work, keeping in mind that what you type in is exactly what will appear. For example, if you copy the title of your thesis or dissertation directly from your PDF, it will appear in all capital letters in the metadata, which is not generally desired. Once you have finished filling in the information about your work, click Save and Continue. On this page, you will upload the PDF of your thesis or dissertation. Although it is not required, we recommend that you name your PDF with a descriptive file name, including your last name, the title, and the year. For example, last name underscore title underscore 2017. Click Upload File to browse for your document and open it. Once the upload is complete, you will see a green success message and your file will appear on the screen. You also have the option to submit copyright permission documents related to your thesis or dissertation on this page. Once you are done, click Save and Continue. In this step, you have the option of uploading any supplemental files related to your work. Most students only submit a single PDF as part of their dissertation or thesis, but if you have a separate collection of images, a data file, or a computer program, you can upload it here and describe the file. When you are done, or if you do not have any supplemental files to add, click Save and Continue. In this step, you may enter a note to administrators at the graduate school if you have any information you would like to convey. Click Save and Continue. In this step, you have the option to register the copyright for your thesis or dissertation through ProQuest for a fee of $55 or waive that option. Before making your decision, we recommend that you watch Parts 5 and 6 of this series, Copyright Registration, for more information on the options that are available to you. After making your choice, click Save and Continue. In this step, you have the option of ordering bound copies of your thesis or dissertation. This is completely voluntary, and you will be responsible for paying any costs associated with the copies. If you would not like to order any copies of your dissertation or thesis, click Decline, Do Not Order. If you would like to order one or more copies for your personal use, select the type of binding and the number of copies you would like, and click Continue with Order. You will then proceed to the next page where you can enter your shipping information. After completing this form, click Save and Continue. You will then proceed to the next page to enter your payment and billing information and pay for your order. After paying for any copies you ordered, the publishing option if you chose Open Access Publishing and the copyright registration fee if you elected to have ProQuest register your copyright, you can proceed with submitting your thesis or dissertation. The review page is your last chance to make changes to your thesis or dissertation file and the information you entered about your work, so make sure to review everything carefully. Once you have checked and approved everything, you can click Submit Dissertation Thesis. 
Congratulations, you have submitted your thesis or dissertation. Your work will now be routed to the graduate school for final approval. If any changes are needed, you will be contacted by staff at the graduate school. Otherwise, the submission process is complete.